watching i'm back again with another video so today i'm doing a curly hair wash day routine now in the shower i make sure that i split my hair into two to four parts today i decided to split it into two parts and i'm just gonna get one half of my hair wet now i'm gonna go in with my Cantu for all natural hair i'm gonna put about a quarter size squirt well that's a little more than a quarter size squirt but i'm going to put that all over my one side of my hair make sure i get up at the top and I'm gonna make sure i also get my hang time because my hang time is what be making my hair hurt when i'm combing it out so i make sure i get that everywhere because the conditioner is what's going to make it easy and non-painful when i'm detangling my hair now that i'm done with that side i'm gonna go in and take down my other side and I'm going to get it a little wet so when I put my conditioner in there it spreads how it's supposed to you know this is how you wash your hair so this is nothing new yes you need to get your hair wet now I'm gonna go back in and I'm just gonna focus on the knots that I can feel with my hands and try to get those out with my fingers before I go in and do anything else and damage my hair or just have my scalp hurting because I don't like my scalp hurting. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use my wide tooth comb. I usually use a wide tooth comb. I always use a wide tooth comb because if not, then you're just really gonna be ripping your hair out and causing unnecessary pain to yourself. So I start at the bottom and I work my way up because my dad always taught me that's how princesses are supposed to comb their hair. And also, it just makes it easier. Like. If you start at the top and start coming down, you're going to be ripping all the naps from the top towards the middle of your hair. Then the comb going to get stuck. Then you're going to have to remove the comb and try to get that big old knot out the middle of your head. But you can start from the bottom, gently detangle any curls from the bottom and work your way up. Now that I'm finished with my hair being separated and combing it, I'm going to go in and put my hair under the water just to rinse the shampoo down my hair as I comb. And this time I can start from the top and comb down because I've combed all my curls out. And I'm like putting the comb on my scalp line. And like, I mean, I'm sorry, I said my scalp line. <laughs> I mean my hairline. And like I pulled back from my hairline because... If not, then my hair be all the wrong direction and like it just be weird. I just gotta comb it from my hairline back. Like I can't comb it to the side or like I wait until after I get out the shower to make my part and everything. Now that I have my hair fully detangled, I could go in and I'ma use my mom's conditioner because mine is almost gone and hers is full. And I'm just taking a little bit. I don't want to put too much because this is the conditioner that I'm leaving in my hair. And I don't want to put too much because it's going to be so much build up at, on my scalp. And it's just going to make my hair look real greasy. So I just put a little bit. So like when I go to come on hair out the next time, it's not all, you know, hard to comb out. And so my hair ain't so like brittle and like dry. And I don't know about y'all, but my hair sheds so much in the shower. Like, it's not even okay. And right now, I'm just rubbing the rest of the conditioner through my hair. And then I'm going to get out the shower. Alright, y'all. So now I'm out the shower or whatever. Y'all might hear a TV in the back. That's because my baby cousin is watching TV. So I'm keeping him occupied. So once I wash my hair and while I'm washing my hair, I shed so much hair, bro. Like, not okay. But I left some conditioner in my hair because I don't wash my, I wash my hair like once a week because I don't want to like dry my hair out so much from washing it so much so I usually wash my hair like I did today and then the rest of the week I do something with it I can spray it down and get it together like that 
and some other things that I do to get my curls looking good without wetting, well, washing my hair or having to get in the shower. So if y'all want to see videos on that, comment down below. Even if y'all don't, I'm probably still going to do videos on them. Um, <clears throat> but when I get out the shower, after I've washed my hair, I use this, the Natural Hair Milk Oil Moisturizing Lotion, and it's for kids. And then the Natural Hair Milk Curl Smoother Defines Curls and Controls Frizz. I be needing stuff for frizz, especially like up here, like right on the line of my forehead. And then last but not least, I use the Style and Custer ad hold that lasts past the playground. That's part of the reason I got kids stuff is because kids stuff, like the wording on there make you think like, hmm, this is really what I'm looking for. But the adult stuff, you don't really be seeing playground hold I need playground hold for the whole day so my stuff stay curled for the whole day but I'm talking too much my hair gonna start to get dry so I don't really want to mess with my curls because if I start combing them out then they're gonna start getting frizzy so I'm gonna get some of the curl soother I'm gonna put a little bit of each curl soother Then the oil moisturizing lotion. Oil moisturizing lotion. And then lastly, styling custard. I need the most of that because that's the main product. That's the final product. Now I got it all together, and I'm just going to rub it like that. Now we got all three of them mixed in one. And I'm going to grab my hair like this, pull it apart, and then start combing through it with this on my fingers. But I want to focus up here first and make sure I get the product up here by my face, because this is where it's the most needed and then I just go and drag it along my hair and then go back in crunch it crunch it all the way up okay that's that side now I'm gonna go on to this side and do the same thing take my hand Comb through, make sure I get the top. And right now, before I scrunch this side, I'm gonna part my hair. hairs are laying the correct way now I'm going to flip my hair over like this Hey baby! Comb it down a little bit. Scrunch it up. Yeah. I want to emphasize the scrunch. Because that's what's going to make my curls show pop. Uh. And I want to focus right up by my face. Like the hair that's right sprouting out of my lining basically front half of my head now that's really all you do your last the last thing you can do you can either let your hair air dry 
or you can wrap your hair up if you got curly hair I think it'd be better like if you wrap your hair in a, um, in a shirt because the towels like really dry your hair out and that's why you got um, frizz in your hair so that's why I don't use towels to dry my hair I use a shirt I got an old work shirt so I'm gonna flip my hair back over Make sure that it's not all nappy and stuff. Scrunch it up again. Gather it. And I'm going to put this on my head like that. And I'm going to have hair that I need to tuck inside. And it's going to fall down the shirt. So my hair just fell down the shirt like this way. Y'all can see it probably at the end. Make sure it got all the hair behind. All the hair that you down here hanging. I don't want none of that hanging out. Go around my ears. I don't like it on my ears. Now make sure it's secure in the back before you start like twisting your hair or it's gonna come up. Twist. And now I'm gonna wrap it around. And then this is my hair tie. I'm going to put my hair tie around it. I'm not going to do it too tight because it don't really need to be tight. It's just holding this on there. So, like that. And let your stuff dry. Holy. My glasses look dirty as heck. And this is water from my hair. Thank you very much. Hey, baby. Come here. You want to get in the video? Come here. Look, you see yourself? Hey, look right there. Look right there, fat man. Boy, he see that speaker. He don't want nothing to do with my video. Mwah. My hair texture is different than a lot of people's. Um, mixed kids, you either get my type of hair or you get tighter curls. My curls are like more loose. Um, so this is my hair tutorial, my hair routine, anything that I do with my head. If your hair is not like mine, it's how are you? If your hair is not like mine, it's probably gonna work like the moisturizers and stuff, but it's not gonna do the exact same thing that it does for my hair. And your hair is not gonna look like my hair, just like my hair wouldn't look like anybody else's hair. Yeah, I usually have a hard time finding like tutorials. Um, on YouTube with people that have the same hair like hair type as me same texture and stuff so I'm gonna put that out there all right y'all I'm back just to show y'all my hair once it's dried you know you see my curls or whatever <laughs> That's the end of this video. If you like what you've seen, if you like my tips, oh snaps, like, comment, and subscribe.